This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the book of John, chapter 2, verses 3 to 11. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Here's how we can be sure that we know God in the right way. Keep his commandments. If someone claims I know him well but doesn't keep his commandments, he obviously is a liar. His life doesn't match his words. But the one who keeps God's word is the person in whom we see God's mature love. This is the only way to be sure we're in God. Anyone who claims to be intimate with God ought to live the same kind of life Jesus lived. My dear friends, I'm not writing anything new here. This is the oldest commandment in the book, and you've known it from day 1. It's always implicit in the message you've heard. On the other hand, perhaps it is new, freshly minted as it is in both Christ and you. The darkness on its way out and the true light already blazing. Any one who claims to live in God's light and hates a brother or sister is still in the dark. It's the person who loves brother and sister who dwells in God's light and doesn't block the light from others. But whoever hates is still in the dark, stumbles around in the dark, doesn't know which end is up, blinded by the darkness. The word of the Lord. Reflections on the first letter of St John chapter 2 verses 3 to 11 John is dealing with the requirements to walk in the light of Christ today he deals with the condition to keep the commandments especially that of love the common understanding among the Jews and the community of believers was that we come to know God when we keep the commandments John confirms that requirement. Anyone who claims to know God but does not keep his commandments is a liar. And that person is without truth. These are strong statements that could send us a shiver. When we fail to love as Jesus loved and to love to the extent of giving up or donating our lives for our friends, then we cannot claim to know God. If we do, We are liars. John makes such strong statements because he is confronting the misleading arguments of a group of people who preferred to believe that Jesus was fully divine and spiritual and his human nature was only a mask. They propagated that anything that had to do something with the world was wrong and evil. Therefore, following commandments was considered activities of the material level. and they had no validity in their way of thinking john in his letter rejects this argument the letter says that anyone who follows the guidance of god that is following the commandments of god is in god and we have a very concrete example to follow whoever claims to remain in jesus must act as jesus acted because Jesus is the way the letter is also bringing a new commandment that is the new commandment that Jesus gave during the last supper love one another as i have loved you in the old testament the commandment to love the neighbor was one among many and there was some doubt as to who the neighbor might be Jesus went much further. He asked his followers not just to love their neighbor as themselves, but to love each other as Jesus did. Therefore, whoever claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in darkness. This is all we need to know to live in the light. That is to extend an unconditional hand of love to every single person. <laughs> 